Hello everyone. This is Raghunath from Chinta Academy. Today we are going to discuss about a problem regarding convergence of a sequence through integration. It will be helpful for students who are preparing for ISI and CMI entrances. I hope you will enjoy this video. Let's get into the video. So today we are going to discuss about this problem which states that for every increasing function b from 1 to infinity to 1 to infinity such that integral dx by b of x from 1 to infinity converges this symbol less than infinity means that it converges now we are asked to find which one of the following options are correct it's single correct option so one option is exactly correct let's deduce something out of the integral given to us we know that b is increasing function so let us try to plot it let's say this is our x axis and this is our y axis and we are going to plot 1 by b of x with x since the domain is 1 let's start with 1 and the value it takes is 1 by b of x. recall that b is increasing which means that 1 by b of x is decreasing so it looks something like this and we are also given that the integral from 1 to infinity converges means that area under the graph is finite from this we can tell that considering the integers 1 2 3 4 we can consider 1 by b of 2 and the value taken at 3 would be 1 by b of 3 and value taken at 4 would be 1 by b of 4 and so on clearly the area formed by these smaller rectangles in blue is less than the area under the 1 by b of x graph that would mean summation 1 by b of n where n goes from 2 to infinity converges let's say that value is l because it is less than some other value which indeed converges that means if i add 1 by b of 1 both sides it will still converge to a value so let me make n go, going from 1 to and also multiplying by a 2 do not make any difference so if we multiply by 2 you will still get that it converges let's say it is l let us consider a different sum so we get 1 by b of floor e power k plus 1 let's start from e power k minus 1 plus 1 till 1 by b of ceil e power ceiling is the smallest integer greater than a real number now notice that each term is greater than 1 by b of e power k minus 1 this is due to the fact that b is a decreasing function similarly all terms are greater than b of e power k minus 1 now when you sum all of them you will also get sum of inequalities and there are at least e power k minus e power k minus 1 numbers in the sum and each sum is greater than 1 by b of e power k minus 1 and adding all you will get this to be the lhs of any and your rhs would be 1 by b of floor e power k minus 1 plus 1 all the way till 1 by b of c e power k now if you vary k fra starting from 1 to infinity you will see that this sum in the rhs would be less than summation 2 by b of n that we were discussing before taking the summation also notice that e power k minus 1 is less than e power k minus e power k minus 1 again k is greater than or equal to 1 where k is a natural number now if you divide this by b of e power k minus 1 you would get e power k minus 1 by b of e power k minus 1 to be less than 1 by b of e floor e power k minus 1 plus 1 all the way till 1 by b of c e power k now when the summation is taken from k equal to 1 to infinity on both the sides you will see that the rhs is at most summation 2 by b of n this is because every integer is repeated at most twice where n goes from 1 to infinity and we know that that is a finite value l because it converges and thus we see that summation k equal to 1 to infinity e power k minus 1 by b of e power k minus 1 is less than l which means it will also converge so option c that is summation k equal to 1 to infinity e power k by b of e power k is less than infinity will be correct also you can work on this through elimination how will you do elimination let's take each option option b goes like log k by b of log 
for option b and b, you can substitute b of x equals x square and you will clearly get a contradiction let's see if you substitute b of x is equal to x square and note that this is increasing and it takes the domain 1 to infinity to 1 to infinity we should not miss on domain and codomain this will imply the option b which is log k by b of log so that is log k by log k the whole square summation k equal to 3 to infinity. This is summation k equal to 3 to infinity 1 by log. But notice this always x is greater than log. This is true for all x positive. That means 1 by log x is greater than 1 by x. And you can impose this inequality or constraint for the option b to get summation 1 by log k to be greater than summation 1 by k but we know that summation 1 by k diverges it is popularly known as the harmonic series so it diverges which means a series that is greater than 1 by k will also diverge so clearly it's not less than infinity and do not converge going to option d it says k equal to 3 to infinity 1 by root of b of log x now let's substitute b of x as x square so it will be log x the whole square so root of log x would be the root of log x the whole square would be just log x so you would get again 1 by log k which diverges and hence 1 by root of log k diverges so this is a counter example for option a so through elimination we can eliminate options a b d and thereby we again get the option c so you can proceed by any of these ways I hope you found this video interesting. Let's meet in the next video. The class notes will be available in the description. You may go and download that. Thank you all.